Last Orders Last Orders, written by Graham Swift and published by Picador, is a novel that tells the story of four old friends who take a journey to the seaside town of Margate to scatter the ashes of the deceased friend, Jack Dodds. Last Orders, explores the lives of a group of working-class men in London, primarily set in the 1980s and 1990s. The novel explores themes of friendship, loyalty, love, and death. It won the Booker Prize in 1996, and the James Tate Black Memorial Prize in the same year. The story begins with Jack Dodds, a butcher in London, who dies at the age of 60. His final wish is for his ashes to be scattered in the sea at Margate, a seaside town he had never visited but had always wanted to. Jack's closest friends, Ray, Lenny, and Vic, are tasked with carrying out his final wish. Jack's son, Vince, also joins them on the journey. The novel is divided into six sections, with each section told from the perspective of one of the characters. The first section is told from the perspective of Ray, who is Jack's best friend and business partner. Ray is a retired salesman who is struggling to come to terms with Jack's death. He narrates the events leading up to Jack's death, and we learn about the close friendship and the secret that Jack shared with Ray before he died. In the second section, we hear from Lenny, a former boxer who now runs a pub. Lenny is a heavy drinker and womanizer, and his section is marked by his constant flashbacks to his past. We learn about Lenny's difficult childhood and his troubled relationship with his ex-wife. The third section is narrated by Vic, who is married to Jack's daughter, Mandy. Vic is a car salesman who is unhappy in his marriage and struggling to come to terms with his own mortality. His section is marked by his philosophical musings about life and death. The fourth section is told from the perspective of Vince, Jack's son, who has a strained relationship with his father. Vince is a car dealer who is going through a divorce and trying to reconnect with his father after years of estrangement. The fifth section is narrated by Amy, a young woman who works in Lenny's pub. Amy is a single mother who is trying to make a better life for herself and her daughter. Her section adds a fresh perspective to the story, as she provides a glimpse into the lives of the younger generation. The final section brings all the characters together in Margate, where they scatter Jack's ashes into the sea. The novel ends with each character reflecting on their own mortality and the importance of the friendships they have forged over the years. One of the strengths of Graham Swift's novel Last Orders is its complex and nuanced character development. Through the perspectives of the various characters, Swift creates a rich portrait of a group of friends who have known each other for decades, and whose lives have been deeply intertwined. Each character is given their own distinct voice and backstory, and as the novel progresses, we see them grapple with the complexities of life, love, and death. The novel is deeply rooted in the historical and cultural context of its time and place, and this context plays an important role in shaping the characters and their experiences. Swift portrays a group of men who have been left behind by a changing world, who have lost their jobs and their sense of purpose, and who are struggling to find meaning in their lives. This sense of loss and dislocation is a central theme of the novel, and it reflects the broader social and economic changes that were taking place in Britain at the time. The novel is also rooted in the cultural context of London, a city that has been shaped by waves of immigration and cultural exchange. The characters in the novel come from diverse backgrounds, and their experiences reflect the cultural complexity of the city. For example, Lenny, one of the central characters, is a second-generation Irish immigrant, while Vic, Jack's son-in-law, is of Pakistani descent. The novel explores the intersection of these different cultural identities and the challenges that arise from living in a city that is constantly evolving. Last Orders by Graham Swift is a novel that can be categorized as a modernist work of fiction. It explores complex themes through an intricate narrative structure that is both fragmented and non-linear. Swift's writing style is spare and unadorned, yet deeply evocative, creating a sense of intimacy and emotional depth. One of the key themes of the novel is the question of identity and memory. The characters in the novel are struggling to come to terms with who they are and where they come from, 
and their memories of the past are often fragmented and unreliable. Swift uses a variety of narrative techniques, such as shifts in perspective and time, to explore the complex interplay between memory and identity. The result is a novel that is both poignant and thought-provoking. Another important theme of the novel is the idea of loss and longing. The characters in the novel are all grappling with a sense of loss, whether it be the loss of loved ones, the loss of youth and vitality, or the loss of a sense of purpose in life. This theme is reflected in the structure of the novel, which is built around the journey of the characters to scatter the ashes of their friend Jack. As they make their way to their destination, they are forced to confront their own mortality and the transience of life. The novel also explores the theme of friendship and the bonds that unite people. The characters in the novel have a long history together, and their relationships are tested and strained by the events of the novel. However, despite the differences and conflicts, they are ultimately bound together by a deep sense of loyalty and camaraderie. Swift's exploration of this theme is one of the novel's strengths, creating a powerful sense of intimacy and connection between the characters and the reader. Swift's writing style is spare and simple, yet deeply evocative. He uses short, simple sentences to create a sense of immediacy and emotional intensity, while also employing a range of stylistic devices, such as metaphor and symbolism, to deepen the meaning of the novel. The scattering of the ashes is also a powerful symbol of their relationship with each other, as they come together to honor their friend and say goodbye. The novel is filled with symbolism, such as the recurring image of the River Thames, which represents the flow of time and the transience of life and evokes a sense of vastness and mystery, representing the unknown and the uncertain. One of the most striking features of Last Orders is the intricate web of relationships that the characters have with each other. The novel is a powerful exploration of the bonds of friendship, as well as the complexities of love, loyalty, and betrayal. Graham Swift's novel Last Orders is a work of literary fiction that is aimed at a mature and discerning audience. The author's approach to the subject matter is both thoughtful and reflective. The novel won the Booker Prize in 1996, one of the most prestigious literary prizes in the world, and was adapted into a film in 2001 starring Michael Caine, Tom Courtney, and David Hemmings. These awards and recognitions speak to the power and impact of Swift's work and reflect the novel's ability to captivate readers with its compelling characters, intricate plot, and powerful themes. Overall, Last Orders is a moving and thought-provoking novel that explores the themes of life, death, and the enduring power of friendship. The characters are fully realized and complex, with the distinct voices and backstories. The novel structure, with each section told from a different perspective, allows the reader to get inside the heads of each character and understand their motivations and fears. Last Orders is a poignant and insightful novel that is sure to stay with readers long after they have turned the final page. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe.